Now that meatball dish was something else. It's very, very nice. It's the one with the courgette where you cut it up. Um, I'm quickly going to explain to you how to do this. I think it's easier on video rather than just typing it out because there's a specific way of doing all of these things. Okay, so number one for the sauce that I made was only, it's only a bit of onion. So this is only um, for one person, by the way. So it's only one serving, okay? So I use a small saucepan like that, there you go. All my stuff is nonstick. Um, and I used a quarter of an onion, maybe a little bit less, a finely chopped red onion that I put in the saucepan, and then a handful of tomatoes. So basically, you can use, th that's, that's the handful of tomatoes, okay? So when you're measuring it yourself, that's what you want. Not like that, but like this, that's absolutely fine. Chop them up into small pieces, put it in the saucepan, and then I added in a bit of sea salt, not much, uh, kind of sprinkled a little bit in there, and then I also added in some garlic. Uh, now the sea salt that I've got has garlic in it already. It's quite nice Just mix that in and gave it a good old stir and just let it simmer kind of between a, a low and a medium heat That's where you want to kind of simmer it um, Because you don't want to burn anything and just leave it there. Okay, it takes quite a few minutes to get it into sauce Maybe about 10 minutes, but whilst that's going on the sides side in the saucepan whilst that's cooking away What I also do is I use a spatula one sec so I use this one, plastic one, non-stick, plastic, okay? Um, and when I do it, I kind of push down on the tomatoes after a while so that it kind of gives off its flavor and the juices and stuff. And then um, it just kind of breaks it up so it goes into a nice sauce. I don't blend it at the end because I want those, those pieces in there, okay? And whilst that's going on, then on this side, I'm making the meatballs, okay? Now the meatballs, I make about that size. So it may be a little bit smaller than a golf ball size. Um, again, it's a handful of mince, so that's 20% fatty mince that I use, and that's the size, okay? Um, and then I make the meatballs basically by uh, putting it in a bowl. If you use 500 grams mince, I use one egg. Now, this isn't 500 grams, okay? So sometimes make some extras that you can do the next day or whatever. But if you're only going to use that much mince, okay, use about a quarter of the egg. So maybe put the egg in a bowl, kind of um, uh, break it up with a fork, and then what you can do is just add in a tiny bit with that mince because otherwise it becomes very sloppy. You can't really kind of make it into a nice meatball. Okay, so add in tiny bits of egg then stir it in with your uh, mince and see how it goes. Then what you do is I compress it in my hand, roll it around, roll it, roll it, roll it, throw it around a few times, make it nice and tight. And then I roll them up and I put it on a board on the side until I've made my four or five meatballs. Now, if you're going to make a handful like that of mince, you should be getting about four to five meatballs out of that for you, yourself. Okay, so then when I cook it, or before I actually cook that, I normally do the courgette, otherwise I've got to use the pan again. So I use a non-stick frying pan, the Tefal pans, these are what I use, okay, so that's the size of my pan, it's quite big. Um, and what I do with this, uh, butter in there, okay, for the courgette, and then a tiny, tiny bit of olive oil, because it helps that the butter, it makes the butter not burn, okay, so that's a good little tip that you can use. Um, so I do use some olive oil here and there, but I don't cook on a high heat, so I don't burn any of my oils and stuff. People burn the stuff, and that's when it's not that healthy for you, okay? So that's the pan that I use, and what I do is I cut the courgette. You know, the courgettes are long. I had these massive courgettes. So I cut them down into about that thick a piece, okay? Maybe a little bit thicker. You can go maybe like that, okay? Because what you want to do is when you lay them flat in the pan like that, you lay the courgette down on its side like that, okay? So then you cook it for about two minutes. Then turn it around, other side for about two minutes, and keep doing that for about eight minutes until it's soft. When you take a spoon, you should be able to kind of scrape out the flesh of the courgette quite easily. Then you know it's soft. Even if you take a fork, you can easily push through it. It's okay, then take it off. You don't have to burn it or anything. Just take it off, put it on the side. Okay, so what you then do is you take a spoon. So if that's your courgette, you basically take a spoon and then you scoop out a little bit of that flesh. Don't scoop it all the way through so there's a hole in the courgette. Just the top end, so you almost like, like a little boat, okay? So you scoop that out, and then your courgette is done. Leave them on the side, that's absolutely fine, okay? So, and then you're gonna cook your meatballs. I flavor my meatballs, so I put the meatballs in the pan with the butter and a bit of coconut oil after I've done the courgette, and you can use two courgettes, that's fine. It should be more than enough, okay? It's, because they, they are quite long, and when you put the meatballs, you can put three meatballs on one and two meatballs on the other one. It's quite a bit of food, okay? so. When I cook the meatballs, put them in the pan, 
kind of move my pan around so that the meatballs roll around and then I use a, a, a pair of tongs, so I use these. Um, I use these ones, so those are the tongs, plastic again. Then turn them over, and let them sit there, just let them cook away at a medium heat. Now the way to see if the meatballs are done properly, if they're too big, it's very hard to cook meatballs properly. If you, when you do it in a sauce, okay, you can let it sit there. But when you do it like this, when the meatballs become firmer, so if you push them and they're really squashy, then they're very raw, okay? But when they start becoming firmer and firmer, you don't want them rock hard because otherwise it means the thing is just so hard. You've overcooked the meatballs. Sometimes cut one open on the side and just see what it looks like. If you're happy with that, then you know it's all done, okay? doesn't matter. You don't have to be perfect with all of your dishes. Just maybe sometimes cut it open, but push down it. It takes about eight to 10 minutes for the meatballs to cook properly. That's normally, I quite like it a bit more raw in the middle. That's just how I like it. Okay, but I also flavor those meatballs with a bit of um, thyme and rosemary, only small amounts, just to get a bit more flavor in the food and a little bit of sprinkle of salt over the top. I don't put the salt in my mince. I sprinkle it over the meatballs when I'm cooking it. Okay, once those meatballs are done, put them on the side, on the board or whatever, put it on the plate. So my courgette is on a plate, my meatballs is on another plate or something like that. And then you've got your sauce, so your sauce is also pretty much then done, everything's okay. Okay, so how do you serve this up? Lay down your courgette and then put a little bit of that sauce kind of over the courgette, okay, just a little bit of that. Place your meatballs on top, like I show in the photo, put it on the top. And then what you do is put a little bit of that sauce over the top again and then grate some cheese over the top, okay? Now cheese, about that much cheese will do. Not a massive overnight. You don't want to have loads and loads of cheese. If you're eating it during the day and it's your one meal, fine, go for it. But about that much cheese, grated cheese, that should be. Sprinkle it over the top, put it in the grill. So you've got your courgette, you've got your sauce, meatballs, sauce, and then your cheese over the top. Put it in the grill and you can use any cheese, whatever you want. Put it in the grill and then basically just let that cheese melt and it's lovely. It's really, really nice, full of flavor. Sometimes I let it cool down that little bit because hot food isn't always as tasty. It's when that heat comes down a little bit, then it's really tasty. I don't, my grill doesn't work, but I have this, which works really well. So this is basically, there you go. This is what all the top chefs in the world use. So basically this is a cigar lighter. So it's like blowtorch, you can use blowtorch. It's butane, is the butane is the gas that they use for this. Um, oh wow, the flavor, unbelievable. It's like it's like a, like a real barbecue flavor almost. That works really well. If you've got that, then do the cheese on top with that, melt it with that. It's really, really good. So yeah, so there you go. Really easy recipe, it's not that hard to do. It's tasty, it's lovely for the whole family. Even my kids really like that type of sauce and stuff, they really enjoy it. Um, Key thing is taste your food. When you're cooking your food, taste it. Make sure when you're cooking your sauces and stuff, just, just taste if there's some flavor. It doesn't help. You kind of cook everything and then afterwards, you're like, oh, it doesn't taste of anything and the food's horrible. That's why a lot of people don't sometimes succeed by eating well because they don't know really how to cook. And that's okay. We all have to learn. But sometimes just taste it and go, oh, yeah, that's okay. Or actually, I can add in a little bit more. It needs a little bit more salt, a little bit more black pepper. Play around with your food. Try it out and when you cook sometimes take the stuff out cut it up and see oh well four minutes in it was raw five minutes in it was medium taste um, um, kind of test it so that you start knowing when is something cooked properly and when is it not cooked properly it took me ages I had to do it like everybody else and I had to just try and try and try and I but I got there eventually and my food tastes really nice and that's what I give to you on the recipes and luckily so far people seem to really like the food which is good just gotta play around with it. You just gotta in, in, enjoy cooking. Look, my stuff sits on the side on a medium heat. I don't have to run up and down. Oh, it's gonna burn, it's gonna burn. Unless it's something that's on a really high heat. Other than that, it just sits there. It just chills out. Nobody cares. You can deal with the kids. You can do homework. You can wash the floors if you want. Doesn't matter. You can do it all. But um, I hope you enjoy it. Have fun with your food. Eat well, you'll get good results, but have fun with your food. Don't put yourself under so much stress. It's just food, but make it nice. So catch you later. Bye.